Oh. It's Captain Red Row. How you guys doing out there? What's going down YouTube town? That's what I like to say. Uh, how you guys doing? Welcome to the show. MC Merges hit me up and said, Are you streaming tonight? And I said, I might. And he said, I need some entertainment. So I said, I didn't say anything actually. I just started streaming. Why not? I, he might see uh, that we're on. He might come hang out. Uh, my buddy John Michael just hit me up. He uh, has downloaded Cuphead and he said, Cuphead is impossible. And I've considered throwing my controller off my balcony several times. And I'm writing back that I would not blame you. Game is no joke. Welcome to the show. It is Captain Retro. I'm wearing my uh, Corona mask that I've been rocking for the last couple months. Uh, I like it. It, it. it does a pretty good job of not fogging my my glasses up. But we don't have to wear it. But I'm going to wear it until someone shows up and sees me in it. Doop a do 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 I think it's back up and working. What a piece of shit. It was locked up. Welcome to the show. Welcome to my nightmare. I think it's back. Hooray. All right, I am Captain Retro, and this is my show. We're gonna play some Rocket Leaguings. The League of Rockets. MC Mo! Welcome to the show, buddy. Buttfangers. I, uh, you, you gave me an idea. I was, I was actually thinking about streaming. I had a good time. I streamed for like three hours last night and had a, had a good time playing some Rocket League, so I figured I'd do it again tonight. Why the fuck not? Let's get some hours up. Let's get some watch time up on my channel. Let's wear my Corona mask while we kick some uh, Rocket League butt. Rocket League butt kicking. Go! Oh. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Oh my god, I overjumped it again. What am I doing? John Rogers! An early dentist appointment. Well, Tight White showed up last night and hung out for a bit. Hadn't seen Tight White in a minute. And I watched his Goodwill video today and it was a very it was a very Tight White-esque type of show. I hadn't hadn't checked out his stuff in a minute and he hadn't put up a whole lot of stuff lately, but. I'm glad to see he's back in the community and holding it down out in Houston town. Damn it. Guys, damn it. We lagged. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it, the whole damn screen just shifted like an inch. I 
hello? Oh, hey, we are live, good, okay. Man, my computer keeps telling me it's not, not working. The internet sucks. The internet sucks! Getting text and messages. I just beat the first area. John Michael is uh, Cuphead for the first time and is very frustrated, has claimed he may throw his controller off of the balcony. He's contemplated it several times. Dude, what a save. I, uh, while never throwing my controller off of a balcony, I definitely contemplated throwing it, and I have thrown it in anger several times. And I'm sure I did it a couple times with Cuphead, because that game can be a frustrator. And I, uh, think my guy just ran into me there, or we might have had a point. We might have had some goals. Magic goals! Mr. Me Seeks! Oh, god damn it, Kevin! I always, I always do that. I always get there right there, and then I miss it. And that one got off my side. I was just going up for the block at that point as I saw him coming in. Top Gear. What's going on? We got a Top Gear game? I mean, that dude on my team just totally fucking stopped me from being able to make that shot. Thanks a lot. Whatever your name may be. Nice shot. Bing bong. Top Gear 2. Top Gear 2, you say? Oh no, the mask is coming off. We got some gaming to do. My neck's gonna get hot wearing this thing. I just came back in from, I had to go to Walmart earlier and do some shit and I've been wearing it the whole time. I honestly kind of forgot I had it on until my neck started to get hot and then I was like, I'm gonna stream. Oh, let me put my mask on. So I look scary. Get it in that goal! Son of a bitch! And what are you doing hitting it not towards the goal, buddy? Or hitting it towards where somebody is on the team? Jesus Christ. Y'all like Mr. Meeseeks on top of my car? Mr. Meeseeks! Booyah! Captain Retro! Alright, y'all are talking about a kart racing game. Let's see here. Street Racer for SNES. I don't know, Top Gear with my jam. It's kart racing games. There's a soccer mode set of battle. Okay. <coughs> we talked about this last night. Yeah, Murr, Murr, Murr used to be, uh, he used to be wild. Y'all don't know the MC Murr that I knew. I knew a wild motherfucker. Some of his stories, my God. He found himself a Christian lady and got all settled down. That God-fearing Christian woman. You, you can, you've got stories, bro. Look at Voltron just sitting up there, looking all cool, next to Earthworm Jim. Oh, was I the MVP of that game? Ha, huh. I didn't even notice. Welcome to the show, welcome to MVP Captain Retro Rocket League time. If you're new to the show, 
say hi. You might get yourself a wrench if you come around long enough. You can get in the wrench squad. Captain Retro's wrench team. So we can fix things with our wrenches. Like dirty words. You can say them. Fuck. That was all me. That was all my fault. I was off again because I thought the other guy was coming and gonna get hit it and I was trying to play his rebound, but I, I, I probably should have taken the shot. Captain Rendro! It's all right, we'll get it back. Come on, Mr. Meeseeks, let's go. Buckets full of poop. Booyah! Eat that, mister! Have a demolition. Maybe get a nice shot, John Bon Jovi, whatever your name is. Uh, I was filming a little bit of stuff tonight for some pinball repair videos. I've been repairing uh, Bally and Stern six-digit displays. I got little repair kits in, and I'm changing out some components and testing them, and... I did one thing really on all three of them that I'm working on and I uh, have not gone back to thoroughly test the third one yet uh, but so far the fix did not fix either one of the things it's, you got to do all three and sometimes you know you do them in order like will this fix it okay does the next thing fix it all right if all three of the things hasn't fixed it it's probably not fixable so we're gonna find out eventually and so far the first measure on that I took was just to change the IC chip on them and put a new uh, um, removable type of holder for the IC chip. Oh God. I should have jumped a little bit earlier. Blaze Overclock 54 is in the house. What up? You up in the house? Whoa, we got dingle dongles going on over there. Dingle dong. Twitter dingle dongs. All right, we need to score another goal. Maybe two more goals if we want to be winners. I need to get that turbo pad. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. Are y'all both not going to play defense? Because I definitely wasn't playing defense. I was driving down towards the end of the goal, but I was the I was the head man on the shot-taking thing there. I, I had to go get the turbo. I, I blame myself. But I don't blame myself. It, these guys got to play some D. What are they doing? Have they played this game before? I don't think anybody on their team's played it either. That's a good one. Damn it. How did I not get that ball? I don't know, but it didn't go in, thank God. Wowzers. Get a job, boy. Nice save. Because that was a save. Uh, I'll check the comments in just a second, guys. I'm getting a little bit hectic here, going a little bit crazy. We got to get back in this game. 
There we go. Nice shot. Great pass. Let's get back in this game. Cap, who's your favorite pinball company from over the years? Mine is Godly. John Rogers, I do like some Godly machines. Uh, they, they made the wackiest stuff in the 80s generally and didn't really start doing too much um, like corporate, you know, uh, tie-in type games and stuff until they are just about out of business. Uh, so they had a lot more, you know, random, weirdo, oddball titles that they could do their own thing with and not have to worry about keeping some company happy or paying off a part of their bottom line. So uh, I don't necessarily care for their grounding issues on their System 8s and stuff. They've got some problems. Uh, the ones I've fixed so far have all had grounding issues and it's sometimes very hard to figure out what the hell is happening because something isn't grounded right even though it reads like it is on the multimeter and you, you just gotta go change it and then they're like well I guess it was fucked up because now it's working and I definitely put that ground and tightened it up and made a new connection for it so. we got 48 seconds to tie this bitch up go get it John boy Kevin sucks. Kevin sucks. Kevin should have hit that ball, and I missed that ball. And that guy lagged, but that guy did not. Come on, guys. Nice shot! We've tied it up. Have I looked into the Polymega system? What is, no, what is the Polymega system? Um, okay, so my favorite pinball maker is probably Data East. I'm kind of a Data East guy, which is basically Stern, Sega. Uh, I, I mean, the new Sterns are amazing. Uh, but I've always liked a good Data East pinball machine. I, the, the, they picked the right themes to do, and even their, you know, they were the first ones to do a lot of different stuff, and they, their components are good, and they just ate a lot of Williams stuff, and for your money, I think you get you get the most bang for your buck out of most Data East titles. Uh, does, does that help? Uh, but I'm a Williams guy. I mean, I mean, they're all great, dude. Yeah, pinball machine, as long as it plays right and it plays fun, it's, how can you not, how can you not like it? I just don't get it. Get up there, Bonnie Blue Flag. What a terrible name. Sometimes you see some great names in these games, and then sometimes you see some dumb ones. Come here. John Boy. What the fuck, bro? Can't see, can't see. Whew, that was scary. And game over. Good job, fellas. I didn't do much in that game. Captain Retro was one assist. Too busy talking. Too busy talking. Welcome to the show. Too busy talking. What you guys doing out there? Uh, it has been a while, Blaze. Blaze doesn't have a wrench. But I know his name. Blaze got a wrench. And we got demoted. Bastard ass game. <clears throat> Let's see. John Rogers, I like the way you spell favorite. It's very English of you. I like the way you say pub. Are you actually a British man in disguise? In the northeast or the northwest of America. I'm trying to get a house, and that has taken most of my time. Taking a lot of my time. Uh, where are you trying to buy a house? My brother and my father are real estate and mortgage brokers here in Atlanta, in Georgia. My brother is a real estate agent and, and a mortgage broker, and my dad and him own a mortgage company together. Damn it. Too hard, too high, wrong angle. All right, buddy. If you butt fuck me again,
Here we go. Here we go. No, I'm part Mexican, Spanish. All the world outside of Canada so uses the British English spelling of words. No, no, they don't. I don't believe you. Ye old, I don't believe ye. I do believe you. I'm just fucking with But ye old, I do believe ye. Because Americans are idiots and we do our thing our own way. Cuban Italian? The hell is that? that? Sounds like a delicious sandwich, is what that sounds like. I don't know about the Scottish part. There means some weird fucking meat in there. Or an intestine of some kind of creepy, creepy animal that crawls around. Alright, we've lost a guy on our team. Get in the goal! Alright. It's two to three. We, we both gotta play our asses off, buddy. And I'm lagging again. We got lag town races going on here. Lag town races, sing that song, dude. Ah. Lag town race track five miles long. Oh, the dude ah day. Go hang to run all night. I gotta stop. I'm in a mood today. I've been in a mood all day long. I did a lot of moving of stuff in the garage. We. I went and pulled the rest of my games out of my storage locker so I don't have to pay for a storage locker for another couple of years. I think I, you know, I, I had too much stuff and now I've sold a good good stack of things and that's bullshit, man. And now you wanna quit? You fucking quitter, you go ahead and quit. I'm never forfeiting. Never. Never quitters! I'll let the world know. No! Oh, I had no boost. Bunch of fucking quitters. Bunch of fucking quitters in this game, I tell you what. Going to run all night! I beat, I beat a team the other night by myself, three to one. Two guys quit on me right at the beginning of the game. I can do it again. I ain't scared. Let's go! Oh, he didn't fucking get that ball. I mean, that turbo. We are lagging like something. Somebody's business is not not good business. Going to run all night! Going to run all day, Captain Retro! Booyah! Going to run all day! I bet the money on a bobtail nag. Somebody bet on the bait. That was a nice shot. Fucking quitters! C Pocknell 03, welcome to the show! It's Captain Retro, one on three right now! Whoa, turn the car around. Not good, not good, we missed it. Ha ha, so did they. My God, we need some turbo. Get that retro! <laughs> oh, fucking idiot! Get that idiot! Go! Get over there! No turbo having motherfucker! Damn it! Once we landed, we cut too hard on the ground and we ruined it. I almost got back to it. Right here, we our tire caught. Our tire caught in the ground and it cut us. It ruined us! We can do this. Three on one. You sons of bitches! Give me back my son! We'll go fucking ransom on your ass. Hi, kitty cat. Of course you're gonna come fuck with me right now. You're gonna come sit on my lap and be like, Hello, meow! Yeah, you got a bowl full of food over there. You're good. Don't you give me that bullshit. Oh my 
god! Too much off the wall! Absolutely no juice! Get it out of here, you sons of bitches! Captain Retro's playing his ass off! Do 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 do! Going to run all night! Going to fuck! Set them up for a shot! Do 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 beep boo! I can't get that fucking song out of my head now, guys. We're in trouble. It might happen all night long. No! You bastards! I played a hell of a game here. Good game. Good game, fellas. No problem. Well, it's three on one. What do you think? No problem. I had two quitters. I got me a candle. I mean, I outplayed two of those guys, hands down. Uh, and the third guy, fuck him. It's nostalgia in the house. Is that what's up? Is he here? No? Who else is here? It has been a hot, smelly minute. Blaze, my God. Okay, I got to scroll up through here. Data East pretty solid. It is pretty solid. It's a lot of options. Being able to install CD tiles, the system is nice. Is that the Polymega thing you're talking about? What, what is that? Uh, I cannot think I can't not think of Blazing Saddles when I hear Camp Me either You know, a nice work song The Camp Town Ladies That's a movie you could not make Well, you couldn't have made that movie after the 70s anyway But you definitely can't make that movie today Wolfpack 1 What it do? I'm a wolf pack of one. I'm a lone wolf in a wolf pack of one. All right, guys. Let's, let's win the game. I'm sick of losing. That's the second game I've lost in a row. The first one was a pretty well-fought game with all three of us, but that time people quit on me. Bunch of damn quitties. Going to quit all night. All right, let's get a new song in our head instead of the fucking Camp Town races. Goddamn. What's his name? What's the thing? What's the line from Tombstone? Uh, you know, Frederick fucking Chopin. Man, come on, man. You know, Camp Town ladies. Steven, what's he fuck is that? Steven, Sug, whatever his name is. You guys, what on fucking planet Earth are the two dudes on my team doing right now? What a save. I blame myself, but I blame I blame homeboy right there that totally missed that fucking block. Wow. Wow. Dot com. I do like my cell shaded turbo juice that comes flying out of my tailpipe there. Looks like cell shaded cartoon smoke. Nice shot! I bought my first house at 21. That's something I've never done, bought a house. I've never lived in an apartment though. I've rented a bunch of houses with people and had roommates most of my life or girlfriends that I lived with. And uh, been here for a while now. It's, it's, I'm getting I'm getting the ants in my pants to get the fuck out of Georgia to be quite honest with you though. I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe Texas. Captain Retro maybe needs to move to Dallas, Houston area. Shit. I, I guess I'm going to be the only one that plays here, guys. Of course, somebody gets there and blocks my setup. Because nobody else on my team is worth a fuck. Did we lose a guy, too? We already got a guy quit on our team again? What is it with these fucking quitting bitches in this world? Oh, no, he didn't quit. He's just over there fucking around in the other world. The real Spoder man. Good, good job. Good job, Spoder man. Nostalgia is in the house. Hey, buddy. How are they hanging? Floppy? 
Constricted? Oh, come on! Nah, it's not a good night. We're getting our butts kicked. We're getting our butts kicked. All right, I have not, I have no idea what the polymega is. I need to read back the comments. I gotta stroll back up to see the good stuff. And there's just no time to read comments when you're playing this game. You have to have your eyes focused on the fucking field at all times. Forfeit? Fuck you guys. Quit. How about that? I'm gonna tell these guys. Never, quitters. Nice shot, see? We can come back, we're only down by two, you fucks, and we got three, almost two and a half minutes. And I got 68 points, I'm not helping our cause. But you're bad. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't on me. Fuck you guys. I mean, it kind of was. I hit the goddamn ball, but he hit it. Great pass. Bunch of quitters. Bunch of whiny quitters on our team. We're going to lose. And you're going to quit. I mean, that's the fucking problem with our country right there. Read those comments up there. But we're going to lose, so we should just forfeit. You're a fucking bitch, and you were raised by a fucking bitch, and you're, you shouldn't have been given birth. The best part of you ran down the crack of your mama's ass and ended up as a fucking stain on the sheets, you fucking quitter bitch. You should be reported for quitting. I might suck, but I don't fucking quit. And I'll get better, you bitch. I sure wish they could hear me. Come on, Spoder man. Fucking stupid ass name. Nice shot. Learn to take an L. That's what I'm teaching you fucking kids right now. Learn how to lose like a man. I'm going to I'm going to type that. Learn how to take an L. Learn how to Take, I'm just gonna sit here. Take. Shit. Take. And L. Learn how to take an L, bitch. Learn how to take an L. Good game. Teaching children how to play Rocket League. Because you know it's a 10 year old. Quit, we're gonna lose, you gotta quit. You should go and have your mother slap you in the face and apologize. Wah! Wah! Fucking bitches. Cry baby. Cry baby. <laughs> Come watch me on YouTube, fellas. 1v1, Spoderman? You can't even spell Spider-Man. I'm not fucking 1v1-ing you. 
All right, let's read some comments while we wait for another match to join up here. Doot, 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 doot. What's the word? Turds? All right, we read that. That's Wolfpack 1. Don't turn your back on the Wolfpack. That's true. Yes, with the Polymega, you can install PS1, Sega CD, Saturn Turbo CD, and Neo Geo CD onto the console's base unit. Okay, the, I do think I know what you're talking about now. I think I've seen that monstrosity. Connection lost. Let's get back into it. Uh, what's up, everybody? Talking naked clowns. No, we're not. I'm a bit young, uh, but I'm trying for a strong start as for starting a house early. Polymega. Oh, my God. We dropped way too far. Retro Ryan's in the house. What up, dog? Uh, oh, my God. I've lost it. I've scrolled too far. Polymega is so overpriced for what it is. 500 plus 80 bucks for each module. Yeah, okay. I know what you're talking about now. No, thanks. Don't need it. Uh, I'll be 35 in a few months here. I just turned 42 in July, everybody. Welcome to 42. It looks this good. Wouldn't mind a main machine in the future. I understand. Wolfpack, don't fall in love with the first house. See, name, main machines are nice. Nothing beats an original cabinet. Absolutely, guys. There's a... Uh, I just put, I just brought the Class of 81. I got a Class of 81 Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, a Robocop, uh, the Arkanoid that's in a Dig Dug body, and my Crystal Castle's MAME that's got like 20 trackball tra trackball games in it. Brought those home tonight, so they're all out in the garage and plugged up now. Miss Emily! Uh oh, now it's back. Something's wrong. Something's going on with my PS3. PS4. I think we're back. Headset disconnected. It was never connected. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to Rocket League. God damn it. No, Captain Idiot. God damn it. Yeah, that's all my fault. I'm trying to keep up with the chat, trying to make sure the stream's working. Something just dropped the audio. But Miss Emily's in the stream, and Emmanuel McCoy showed up. Welcome, Emmanuel. Very biblical name of you, sir. Oh, God. Nice pass. Nice shot. For the love of God. Camp Survivor is in the house. Welcome, Camp Survivor. Welcome to the show. If you're new, say hi in the stream so we can get you in the stream and say hi. Emily, you know what Emily needs? Emily's been around a lot. She just got a wrench. Wrench town population, Miss Emily. Of course, of course, he hits it under me as I come over the perfect angle on him. Yeah, my fault. You're right. Now, it's just like it's my fault that one ball went in.
How is it that you like automatically go right at the ball? I guess because I'm always just aiming at the ball. Nostalgia, you did not just buy a baby shark shirt. I hope you didn't. You're going to make the rating system if you did. You are going to be part of the rating system that's never going to be seen by anyone. We got one. My God, it's only three on two. We should maybe beat him. <clears throat> uh, sorry about the stream falling apart there. I'm pissed because I ordered some meat online on the 25th. It's still not here. I left emails and no response. Left the Facebook review. Was told there's three reasons why things are not shipped. Sorry. Fuck. That made me mad too, buddy. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes you got to read comments like they were intended. You guys write other things for me to read in different ways. And sometimes you might, if you write something really good, you might need me to like, you might want to have to put a little, be, be sad when you read this or read this one when you're, you know, horny, something like that. I can put something on it. Whoa. The shiniest meat bicycle? What is going on? MC Murr is Taco King? What's happening? MC Murr, the Taco King. MC Murr, honest to God, though, you know how people start like. Uh, they go on a mission and they get a petition rounded up for people to sign and, like, you know. Like what that old Simpsons episode where the the guy that really created Itchy and Scratchy, they were trying to help him get his like do you know get his come up. It's like we need to do the same thing for MC Murr and the word Yeet. He invented the word Yeet. At, I don't know exactly when, but at least as far back as four, fifth grade. The guy's been saying fourth, fifth grade. He's been saying the word Yeet, and uh, I, he's the first person I ever heard say it. So I, he needs to get some kind of retro uh, payment set up in in the internet lexicon division that, that pays out for slang. Wow. And we need to take up a collection for him. Uh, maybe a, a nickel. A nickel every time someone uses the word yeet, he gets some kind of royalty. That's all I'm thinking. I'm just trying to help the guy out. He's got two kids. He's got a wife. He's got a mortgage. He invented the word yeet. Give him his due. They made it a bacony hill to die on, so I canceled my session. We were at one point up to 14 or so people watching at one point, and it fell apart real quick, probably when the mic died. Oh, look, headset disconnected again. The headset's never been connected. What are you fucking talking about? Yeet dates back to 1987. See? That's what I'm talking about. Especially when I pay $20 extra for one day shipping. Fuck! $61! Is that, am I reading those? I think I got Emmanuel's anger. I love bacon. I'm reading that one like Camp Survivor Minute. I love bacon. I love bacon. <laughs> I'm trying out my characters tonight, you guys. We're gonna, we're gonna make some new Captain Retro memories and some new characters. I was doing this guy earlier. I can't really do him. I mean, it's I can do him, but it might get offensive real quick. It's a, offensive as fuck. <clears throat> it's this super conservative talk show host that I've heard on Howard Stern show. Uh, that they, I guess he's got an internet radio podcast or some nonsense, or he spews his hate, and they fuck with him left and right. They call the guys on Howard Stern show co constantly call in and make phony phone calls and. Just fucking tweaking the guy's nuts, you know, like fucking with him on the phone. It's hysterical. But I can do a really good impression of the guy, like at least in my brain, it sounds just like him. 
you goddamn fucking liberal, liberal commie fucks. You're, you kids don't even know what you're fucking, all your world gay and your, your words, your, your tranny look, liberal propaganda. Oh, go back and why don't you suck Satan's dick meat? Like, that's how he talks. Like, he sounds just like that and says awful things like that to people. And I'm gonna, maybe I'll bust him out. You, you silly faggot can go suck on Satan's greasy cock in hell. He says shit like that on the radio and like, wow. Wow. So constantly, Howard's people are calling him and telling him they're in love with him and stuff and they want to make it. Yeah, no, I'm not a homosexual. You get that stuff out of here. It's hilarious. Hilarious. But I don't think my channels, I don't, it didn't survive. It didn't survive me mentioning that I don't watch RGT85. I don't know if it'll survive me making fun of the, the liberal or any kind of other agenda. I, don't take a stance. Don't pick any hill to die on on YouTube. Just be nice and sweet all the time. Hi guys, welcome to the show. Oh, so glad to have you here. God almighty! And I get blown up for the effort. Fuck me, right guys? Fuck me. And I missed that somehow too. But I stopped him from making a shot off of my shot. God almighty. Unreal. I suck. I suck. I want gammon wrapped in bacon, wrapped in more bacon, topped with bacon and bacon bits? Backgammon? What? What the hell's going on? Oh, if that goes in... Wow. Wow. Hold on, you paid $61 for something? I'm not even sure what I was yelling about. $20 extra for one day shipping. My God. $61, the entire thing was 138 bucks. What's going on? And it still hasn't showed up yet? Fuck them. Same thing happened with me. I ordered this little piece of plastic for a pinball machine score reel that apparently the only company that makes it anymore is in Canada or the, they, they're the only ones with them anymore. And I ordered one and it took three and a half weeks to get here from fucking Canada and it weighed like two ounces. Not even not even an ounce, probably. Very, very small. When I, I'm, ounces are maybe, maybe a gram. That's what I mean. Maybe two, two grams, possibly. Very small. It, it wasn't like it was, we gotta get this thing on a truck. Get it on a, we got forklifts. We need forklifts. No, it was a little bitty thing and it took forever. And I just had to order another one because another one broke on the machine, which I honestly think was probably already broken, but it was maybe half broken and kind of still half working, and it might be the cause of the reasoning why the machine's not actually fully working because it was only kind of partially not broken. Does that make sense? It was broken plastic, but it wasn't fully broken, and then I fully broke it. Wow, we suck. We suck. Oh, and we've already got a guy who wants to forfeit. Time to forfeit. Let's quit. Bunch of quitters. Grams of pinball paraphernalia. Yeah, man, I snort that silver ball, dog. Hey, you need a you need a dime bag of this pinball? I got that hot rubber. Uh, uh. Burpings. We've come for your daughter, Chuck. Oh, of course he missed it, I missed it. I didn't have any juice to get a shot off. It's all my own fault. I sat there waiting on it like an idiot. Let's go make something happen. Let's get at least one goal in here before before the time's up, guys. That was almost it. We are lagging like crazy.
Terrible. Terrible game. I was a finalist in the statewide Buffalo's King of Wings Championship in 2009. You were the King of Wings? Did you get a crown? Do you have any, like, uh, is there land involved with that? Do you win, like, a title and a whole fucking plot of land? All right, you know what? You guys, I'm gonna stop playing Rocket League. I'm gonna immediately start playing some pinball on here just to have something I can pause and talk about when I want to. And uh, you guys, go away, but don't go away, because I'll be right back. Be right back.